Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be explaining you about CYBR and um, I will just copy that, paste that in Google and write stock besides it. And you can see the stock name and you can see the, if I try to buy it right now, it will be 139.46 US dollars cost. And the market cap is in billions, which means it's a big size firm and there's no dividend yield. Companies that pay dividends, that means they, they are financially strong because they have ex extra money left. After paying their costs, liabilities, creditors, they still have money left. It means they are financially strong. That's a positive news. But companies, this company don't pay any dividend. There could be two reasons. Maybe they are not financially strong. They don't have extra money. Or maybe they are reinvesting in their own business to expand. That means that you know, they want to grow and stuff like that. So it's up to you to decide. Let's see Wikipedia and let's look at the box and you can see founded 1999 um, 20 years ago. Now I just want to copy this and I want to paste that and write review besides it and indeed and uh, just click here. There are only three reviews which is not enough to judge a firm and it's 2.7 stars. Just read through the reviews yourself and um, I will just go to Glassdoor and here I want to see 96 reviews and it's 4.2 star which is brilliant and uh, just read through yourself and just, I'll just go to just your patents and um, I'll just go here now and click enter and um, I just want to say that I will just make sure that this name matches with the patent so it does so in 2000 so i'm not interested in inventors because these are people who invented but they don't have the rights i'm interested in assignee or applicant 2011 they have a patent 2011 they have a patent 2018 2018 and stuff like that you can see they have recent patents which is brilliant 2015 they have a patent 2017 they have a patent 2018 they have a patent and stuff like that they have 2019 they have a patent so they have recent patents the more patents they have the more stronger the firm the more better it is the more competitive it can be and the more recent patents they have the better and uh, so they have patents this is brilliant and i want to go to yahoo finance and i want to see the key executives just uh, paste it and i'll just click here and paste the company here and uh, I'll just click this one go, uh, click to profile and you can see sector and industry and full-time employees and uh, you can see there are five executives all their salaries have been shown which is brilliant because the more information we have the more better the more transparency the more trust and uh, now what we can see is we can go to macro trend which is a brilliant website for ratios Click price ratio and then price book ratio and type in paste in the uh, paste in this link. Okay, and um, with this website you have to be a bit patient because um, it has a lo lots of data, so it takes time to load. So you need to be patient about it. And um, I'll explain you briefly what price book ratio is. Price book ratio, if it's less than one, that means that the stock is very cheap, it's discount and it's at bargain, it's ideal to buy. If it's one, that means the stock is of real worth, so it's not expensive, which is brilliant. So you're buying it for the real worth. If it's more than one, that means the stock is expensive. The higher the number goes, the more expensive it gets. So um, we want to see what price book ratio this stock has. So we don't have data actually, it has loaded, but we don't have data of this um, price book ratio of this firm. So, uh, but you can see here that um, in 2019, it's 10 times more expensive. 10.25 means it's 10 times more expensive. Now let's go to other ratios and um, uh, go to current ratio. And you can see 
that um, it has data for current ratio so current ratio if it's less than one that means that um, the stock is very risky if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe so right now it's more than 1.5 so it means stock is not risky it's very secure let's look at the previous ones is it 1.5 or more than that yes so since we have data since 2014 up till now um, it's con consistently being a safe stock it's consistently above 1.5 which is brilliant let's look at debt equity ratio debt equity ratio tells us if the stock is mainly operating on debt or equity if it is 0.5 or less than that it's brilliant and let's have a look It's, it's taking time to load so I can see there's no debt this part is the debt there's no debt there's zero debt that means that it's a safe stock so it's you know it we are looking for 0.5 or less than that but there's no debt at all so um, it's a very safe stock it's up mean it's operating totally on equity that's brilliant let's go on with return on equity we are looking for 8% or more than that So we're looking at 8% or more than that. It is more than 8%. It's brilliant. It's a safe stock. Let's look at the previous. It's a bit lower than. So there's no kind of consistency that I'm looking for. So, you know, recently, just recently in 2018 up to now, uh, December up to now. So it's like, I would say three, four months. It's been above 8%. And um, so, um, you know, there's, um, you know, at least for five years, recent five years, it should be above 8%. For it to be trustable so it's up to you to decide uh, about that 